Hi everyone, I'm Dr. May Seibel. Today I want to talk to you about something you've probably heard a lot about, and that's called bioidentical estrogens. You may be wondering what bioidentical estrogens are, and you may be wondering, are they really safe? Are they safer than the regular ones you get in a drugstore? What is it you need to know to make that choice? First, let's begin with something very important, like what is a bioidentical estrogen? First of all, bioidentical means it's exactly the same chemical structure as the estrogens you make in your body. Now, there are three estrogens that the body makes, estradiol, estrone, and estradiol. Estradiol is the one mostly made by the ovary, so it's mostly there in the reproductive years, and that's the most potent and the most abundant of the estrogens. The second one is estrone. That's one that's mostly made in the fatty tissues of the body. So if a person has a whole lot of abdominal fat, they're making some weak estrogens from that fat. And the third bioidentical one is called estriol. Estriol is mostly a hormone of pregnancy. It's made by the placenta. And so if it's not a pregnant woman, it's probably not very much in the body. Now, all the other estrogens that you may have gotten or heard about in the store, some of them uh, like Premarin or Senestin or any of the hundreds of other ones, the ones that are in birth control pills, all of those estrogens are not bioidentical. Now, the body thinks that the structure of those estrogens is so close to bioidentical that they'll actually work in the body. So that's why if you have a hormone that is a chemical structure similar to a bioidentical one, it still has an effect on the body. It may be stronger, it may be weaker, or it may just be different. Now, where do you get these bioidentical hormones? Well, you can find them both in compounding drug stores, and you can also find them in the traditional drugstores, in the chain drugstores, in uh, mass merchandise places that you go to. They're in all the places. The third thing you may be wondering is, is that are they natural? Well, let me explain this. There's a big difference between bioidentical and natural. For instance, there's no plant that you can just squeeze and get a bioidentical hormone out of. The precursor hormones that are found in some plants, the soy products or the uh, Mexican yams, all of those products have certain hormones in them or plant hormones in them, but our body doesn't have enzymes to turn them into the hormones that are bioidentical. We can't do it. So the only plant they come from is a chemical plant. All of them are like that. Whether they come from a compounding drugstore or from a chain drugstore, all they are is structures identical to what the body makes, but they're not natural. That's not a bad thing, but that's just what they are. Now the fourth and final question that I want to answer is, are they safer? Are bioidentical estrogens ones you don't have to worry about? Because let's remember that women have been worried, particularly in the last 10 years or so, about if estrogens increase the risk of breast cancer or blood clot, stroke, cancer, and all these other things. Well, the answer is this. Which weighs more, a pound of feathers or a pound of bricks? Now if you think about it, the feathers are a lot lighter but if you get enough of them there, you'll get a full pound. So they're the same. So if you are a person who's considering taking estrogen and you want to know, should I take a bioidentical one or should I take a not bioidentical one? Here's the answer to that. If you can take estrogen, either of those are going to work for you. If you can't take estrogen, or you don't know if you want estrogen, and you take them in equal amounts. They may not be the same number of milligrams because they measure differently. Remember, one is a pound of bricks, one's a pound of feathers. But if you get an equivalent amount of them, then their benefits and their potential risks are going to be the same. So the question for you to talk over with your healthcare provider is, is estrogen something I want to take? Is it something safe for me? That's the question that you want to talk about. Now, after having said all this, you may want to know, well, are there any benefits to bioidentical estrogens? And I think there are some. Let me tell you what they are. 
The first thing that's a benefit is, number one, is because they're the same estrogens that the body naturally makes, they're easily measured by the traditional tests that we have in our laboratory. So if you get a bioidentical estrogen, and you can get it in a drugstore as a patch, or it could come as a gel, or it could come as a pill, or a vaginal ring, or a variety of ways, or as a cream in a compounding pharmacy. If you put that on your skin, or if you take it in any way, you can draw a blood test and measure specifically estradiol, or estrone, or estriol. The second thing is, is that if you take those uh, particular hormones, you can take and mix them together. For instance, in a compounding pharmacy, you can have several kinds of hormones. You can mix it together with progesterone, or you can mix it with several kinds of estrogens, or you can mix it with testosterone. So several hormones can be put together in one particular substance, so you'll have to take it once a day. That is an advantage of the compounding drugstore over the traditional ones. However, the third thing that you have to realize is that the traditional drugstores do have FDA regulations, so they're a little bit more monitored and a little bit more regulated as to what's in that particular substance that you get. Most of the compounding uh, drugstores do a terrific job, but they aren't as tightly regulated as the FDA regulated ones that come in the drugstore.